In today's video, we'll talk about some of the best picks in the solo queue for the month of December 2023. These heroes were chosen based on the official data from the developers, original server and advanced server updates, and also feedback from former and current Immortal players. These heroes were grouped according to their primary roles officially listed in the game, not the lanes nor areas they are ideally played in, and are not sorted according to how good they are since a lot of them are equally effective. And finally, we'll also share some recommendations for each hero that will certainly help you gain more wins. If you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like, share, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Basha's effectiveness is directly tied to the prevalence of healer supports in the meta. His passive skill, which enables him to inflict life drain on enemies struck by his abilities, makes him an ideal counter to supports who rely on healing abilities. Kufra is a multifaceted tank who excels at countering heroes that depend on blink and dash skills due to his second ability. He embodies the qualities of an exceptional tank roamer, possessing remarkable defense, a variety of control effects including slow, airborne, and displacement. His ultimate skill synergizes with Flicker, granting a significant advantage against highly mobile heroes. Minotaur's reign as a top-tier tank remains firmly entrenched due to his ultimate ability's unmatched range. His ultimate boasts the widest control effect area among tanks, making it a potent tool for both dominating the battlefield and staging dramatic comebacks from the brink of defeat. Additionally, Minotaur's first skill proves invaluable early on, enabling him to knock multiple enemies airborne within a vast area, positioning him as a formidable threat right from the get-go. Bruno is a formidable marksman who boasts exceptional critical damage capabilities. His versatile skill set enables him to dash, stun, and knock back opponents, adapting to various combat scenarios. Additionally, his extended attack range grants him a significant advantage over other marksmen, making him a formidable lane opponent. Despite her vulnerability in the early game, Wan Wan can become a formidable opponent once she acquires sufficient experience and a couple of damage-enhancing items. Her ability to purify herself from crowd control effects makes her difficult to pin, and her ultimate skill, when executed effectively, grants her temporary invincibility, further exacerbating her adversary's woes. Brody is a marksman who strikes a perfect balance between offense and defense. His impressive damage output, surprising mobility for a marksman, and ability to stun unsuspecting foes make him a formidable opponent. His well-rounded skill set enables him to evade enemy ganks, emerging unscathed or leaving his adversary stunned and vulnerable. Arlot is a formidable fighter carry with exceptional damage output and self-sustained capabilities. His passive empowers his second skill, allowing him to dash towards enemies, dealing significant damage and regaining health simultaneously. This skill's uninterrupted movement during its execution grants Arlot partial immunity, making him a reliable clutch hero. Arlot's damage output is impressive even without excessive damage-oriented items. Two to three damage items should suffice. His ability to regenerate health using his skills eliminates the need for bloodlust acts, allowing him to prioritize items that enhance his damage or defense. Terizla remains a formidable tank in a meta saturated with healer supports. His ability to both absorb damage and deal damage makes him an invaluable asset to any team. Terizla's second skill, with its expansive range and three phases, proves to be a game changer in team fights. His ultimate ability, which can pull multiple enemies towards a central location, facilitates the team's annihilation of multiple opponents with ease. Guinevere has resurfaced in the meta due to a recent enhancement to her second skill. Evading her second skill has become significantly more difficult due to its ability to stun targets before launching them into the air. This transformation has made her an indispensable asset in team fights. Guinevere's second skill is so potent that even without unleashing her entire combo, she can offer significant assistance to her team. Lilia is a formidable nuker who can significantly contribute to the team's success not only by inflicting immense damage, but also by manipulating enemy positioning through her second skill, which can be deployed in multiple locations around her. 
Additionally, she possesses exceptional outplay potential due to her ultimate ability, which enables her to reset her position, HP, and mana to the state they were in 4 seconds prior. While Valentina's damage output may not be the most impressive, her ability to replicate any ultimate skill with her ultimate makes her a formidable opponent. Her decent mobility, control, and range make her a valuable asset in both team fights and lane engagements. Noveria reigns supreme as the Sniper Mage, dominating the early game with her unparalleled range granted by her second skill. Her elusiveness is further amplified by her phasing ability, enabling her to seamlessly navigate through obstacles. To top it off, her ultimate spell unleashes a devastating AoE slow and reveal, proving a game-changing force in both team fights and objective skirmishes. Matilda's unique skill set and adaptability make her a formidable support hero, even though she may not be the most popular choice. Her effectiveness in ganks and her ability to switch between an aggressive damage-oriented role and a more supportive role make her a valuable asset to any team, regardless of the meta. Diggy reigns supreme as the ultimate defense against control-heavy heroes. His ultimate skill serves as a potent countermeasure, nullifying the effects of control abilities and rendering certain heroes virtually ineffective. As a dedicated protector of allies, Diggy's ideal build prioritizes defensive equipment. His passive ability grants him posthumous mobility, enabling him to continue providing vision control even after succumbing to death. Faramus is a versatile hero who can single-handedly alter the course of a battle for his entire team. His ultimate ability protects his allies from death, granting them a crucial second chance. His first skill draws enemies closer, while his second skill deals significant damage. Faramus excels in both the mid lane and the roam position, making him a valuable asset to any team composition. Nolan is a devastating assassin who unleashes explosive damage with his rapid fire skills. His agile movements and disorienting passive ability make him a formidable force, capable of swiftly maneuvering around the battlefield and leaving enemies confounded. Joy's exceptional agility, resilience, and assassin prowess allow her to traverse the battlefield with ease, decimating multiple foes in her path. Her cleansing ability further enhances her elusiveness, making her a formidable adversary for most heroes. Yi Sun Shin's potent burst damage and adaptability have cemented his position as a formidable force in the game. His ability to seamlessly transition between ranged and melee combat, coupled with his guaranteed critical burst damage, makes him a versatile threat. Additionally, his ultimate's ability to unveil the locations of all enemy heroes proves invaluable in both evading ambushes and devising offensive strategies. There you go, those are the heroes that we think will leave a mark in December 2023. What do you think? If you were to replace some of the heroes here, who would it be and who would you replace it with? Leave your thoughts on the comments section below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.